PMAC Movies back. It is another PMAC Movies haul, haul video here. Um, I do have some coffee. Thanks for joining me. Glad you're with me. Let's kick back. Let's relax. Let's, you know, drink your favorite drink, whether it be coffee, tea, soda. Relax. Chill out. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to show off what I hoarded up on this week, which I got some more good stuff. And um, drink a little coffee. So this is, this is a... A relaxation time. This is this is this is an, 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 a time to enjoy. There's a lot going on um, out there right now with with everything. There, there's never been anything like what's going on right now, and um, I'm not going to use certain words or say very specific things. But I will say this: a lot of people need to work on slash are lacking in in discernment and critical thinking skills and that can create a lot of fear and panic and all those things but uh, one thing that I would definitely recommend to do is is take a look at your reality bubble and always be comparing it to what you're told reality is people seem to not be able to do the people have lost this they've lost the ability to look around in their day-to-day -day life and compare that to what they're told that reality is and um, and so they're believing in a false reality from my point of view if, if what's going if what you're told is going on isn't really what's going on around you um, it's very strange and you t and you got to talk to a lot of people and observe and and talk to people that are in different areas and things like that and um and and you kind of go from that you you figure out what you believe is really going on here but uh enough of that stuff i got a little coffee here i put it in this um contigo mug and then i'm gonna put it in this little clear maybe i put too much creamer in it It's kind of light there, but it's still pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. What's that from? Um, so I got another Kino order. You just can't stop pouring up from Kino, baby. I enjoy this Kino stuff, you know, like I've said in other videos. They really have a good variety. I'm trying to get this camera right. They really have a good variety of... Um, of stuff that they put out, you know, and this one, I have some fun ones in this one, um, so I'll be showing those off. The main event here today is going to be Mill Creek. Mill Creek is gracious enough to send me over some releases, which I actually, are, I just got their stuff a few days ago, and I did watch one of the movies, and I'll say that it was actually way better than I thought it was going to be. It was actually really good, so Mill Creek's going to be the number one um Kino, we got Walmart stuff from the new Walmart. Um, you know, the, the, the setup that they've done, They every few months or so, they do kind of, uh, uh, they take everything off and put some new stuff, some different stuff out there. Um, and then Amazon UK. I just keep pouring up from Amazon UK. That's what happens when you have two region free players. You just, you can just buy, you know, whatever from any region and, Maybe not a good idea for a movie addict, movie buying addict. Um, so let's take a look at Mill Creek. Is there anything, did I get anything from Goodwill this week? Actually, I got some books from Goodwill. Books. Um, I know, that's surprising. Did I buy, I don't think I bought any movies from Goodwill this week that I can recall. But let's take a look at, at what I got from Mill Creek. So Mill Creek sends me over, has been sending me over their um, new releases, or at least a, a fair amount of their new releases for over a year now, I, I think, about, around a year. And uh, they really, they put out some solid stuff. And, and one thing that they're doing is putting out a little bit of the Ultraman at a time. So if you're, if you're, Buying the Ultraman stuff that they're putting out, they didn't put out any more seasons this month, but they did put out a couple movies. Uh, Ultraman Orb, the movie, 
Let me borrow the power, power of bonds. Let's take a look at this one. One hour, 11 minutes. So this is a pretty short one. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I've watched a little bit of these Ultraman ones, but not a ton, so I can't say a ton about them, but I'll say that I do really enjoy the artwork and they're just nicely done releases, especially the box sets that they've been putting out there. They're, they're nice box sets and they're released at affordable prices. And they do come with the digital also for the, you know, the Mill Creek digital thing that they do, which is called Movie Spree. And then we have Ultraman Geed the Movie, Connect the Wishes. There's a lot of Ultraman stuff. This is an hour and 13 minutes. So I don't know if these were like TV movies in Japan or what they were. But, um, again, I like the colors that they use in everything. I like how they make them quite colorful. And, you know, they're making it in a way so that hopefully they can catch people's eye to grab it off the shelf, I suppose. And then um, four actually really cool Blu-rays that they put out this month, which they've been putting out a little bit of Andy. Another thing that they've been doing is a little bit of Andy Sedaris here and there. Not every month, but here and there. So this month they put out a couple more Andy Sedaris movies. Hard Hunted here. I don't know much about these movies either, but you know, people tell me that these Andy Sedaris movies are very entertaining, action packed, maybe sex packed. It looks like it. Fit to Kill is the other one. Fit to Kill here. Donna Spear is in both of these. Also, Roberta Va Vasquez is in both of these. And R.J. Moore. These actually look like they're um, the same characters. The world's hottest undercover agents are back. So, th yeah, this is like Fit to Kill. And then I guess Hard Hunted, is a, it looks like a sequel to it. Um, same characters and stuff. So, I didn't know that. I just realized it. But one that I do want to say, this is really, I was excited that they were releasing this one because I got this on DVD and I, I was watching it, I think it was a day me and Charmaine had, were going somewhere or something, so I didn't finish it. But it is like a really, it's like a mind bender, philosophical, weird, interesting movie. So I definitely want to watch this and I'm glad I got the Blu-ray so I can watch it in HD. It is Ryan Reynolds in the nines here, which Ryan Reynolds is, is really a, quite a talent. We were just watching a movie with him called The Proposal and just hit the, the way he says things and stuff, he's really um, some, some good comedy, obviously from Deadpool and stuff like that. But he, he's a funny, funny fella. I actually remember he used to be in a show, it was like two guys and a girl or something. And uh, that was a pretty good one too. That must've been one of the first things he did. But this Nines movie is is something that I'm kind of like surprised that it didn't get like a, a bigger release from a company. So it's interesting that Mill Creek got the rights to this and put it out. I think Lionsgate might have been, the DVD might have been Lionsgate possibly. I, I can't remember. Maybe not because it seems like Lionsgate would have released this. But uh, this was a really interesting movie and I need to watch the whole thing. Hope Davis, Melissa McCarthy, Elle Fanning also in this one. Very interesting movie. I definitely like to have these mind benders in my collection because they're things that are like rewatchable and there's depth to them. Now, this is one that I can definitely recommend one of the movies, um, which I'm surprised by. I'm glad I got this. It is a Blu-ray DVD combo of Wesley Snipes movies, The Contractor and The Fan. Now, the one I was interested in when I got it was The Fan because that's actually kind of like a was that something like a, a Sony movie or something? And I looked into it and I don't think the fan got a Blu-ray. I thought I was thinking the fan got a Blu-ray, but I looked into it. I couldn't, I, I guess it didn't get a Blu-ray. Um, so that's the one I was looking forward to. It is on one disc there. Um, both movies are on the Blu-ray and then both movies are on the DVD. So I, was, I, you know, I wanted something kind of like I was just, I just wanted to relax and be entertained. So I, I looked into the contractor a little bit, and it sounded like you know it was a made-for-TV one. Some people are saying it was okay, and I watched it. And the contractor is actually probably one of the better action movies 
I've watched lately. It's entertaining. It's emotional. It's got heart. What I, you know, Wesley Snipes was excellent. I thought that the little girl in this, uh, Eliza Bennett, she was excellent in this movie. Really good acting from such a young person. Lena Headey is also in this from um, Game of Thrones. And Charles Dance, I believe, is also the, her father in Game of Thrones. He's also her father in The Contractor, which was really interesting. Um, Charles Dance is the father. Lena Headey is, is the daughter, just like Game of Thrones. It's crazy. Um, but I, I actually uh, really enjoyed that movie. And uh, it's one i got to throw into my reviews pile. I might do a reviews video. Maybe, not, maybe it'll be today, maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. But uh, I really enjoyed that one from 2007, by the way. And then I was watching The Fan, and I was realizing, like, I've already seen this. I, I, I must have watched it, like, not really that long ago. I, I'm not sure where I watched The Fan. It's kind of like Robert De Niro's character is really a freaking wacko. Um, but uh, it's, it's an entertaining one, too. I mean, a lot of you have probably already seen that. So I think this is a, a pretty good, entertaining two-pack. I think The Contractor is actually the better movie, though, surprisingly. And then I got a few DVDs also from Mill Creek. This one actually looks quite interesting. It's called Woman on the Edge with uh, Rumor Willis. Is she related to Bruce? Is she Bruce Willis's daughter? It says, An investigative journalist puts her own life at risk when she discovers that there may be a link between the recent death of her sister and a number of murders that are set up to look like suicides. Actually, sounds like it could be a pretty good one. So, Woman on the Edge. And then, not so sure about this one, but it is American Zombie Land. So, this is like a zombie movie set in Hollywood. I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one, but uh, it looks like it could be entertaining. And then a couple, like, Bible story movies which actually have some star power in them in the beginning martin landau is in that one christopher lee it says christopher lee's in it is that the christopher lee um also billy campbell is in that one apparently so that you know that's got some star power that's from 2173 minutes both of these are pretty long. And then Noah's Ark starring John Voight and Mary Steenburgen from 1999. So these are... It feels like they both have their own disc. And I hope that they do because they're both like two and a half to three hours long. And they do. So in, so this is kind of like a value set. Pro, you know, you can probably get this for a few bucks and you get two three-hour movies. That's not bad. On their own disc, if you know, if they were on um, one disc, I would be concerned. But uh, looks good. And then this one, this is now this is a four movie collection. It is Benji, four movie collection. Now this one I am a bit concerned because it feels feels awfully light. So when you got four four movies on one disc I just don't know I just I just don't know how that's going to work out so the picture quality of these probably isn't great but uh you know Mill Creek is releasing this probably you know more towards kids so kids probably aren't going to be as concerned about the um the picture quality I guess wow that Santa Claus looks really really creepy these are supposed to be kids movies why does I don't know if you're going to be able to see that but like look at his eyes and stuff you can keep the present santa i'm i'm good this year i'm good or maybe i'm just gonna be bad so that you don't come around you weirdo um moving on so that's all the mill creek stuff again some cool releases this month i believe um actually maybe what's that show that tina fey show complete series might be this month possibly and um so the real big timers are going to be receiving that one i put a little bit too much creamer in it. i did I, I admit it stupid what is wrong with you p-man um 
up next, let's take a look at... I try to show you guys ones that you can get at your stores. So I'm going to put that one up next. Um, so Walmart, they did their reset here over the past uh, couple weeks. And they have some, some good stuff. And not stuff I, I was jumping for joy to get necessarily. But some good... You know, PMAC's all about getting stuff that I want at bargain prices. And if I don't want it that bad, I'll wait until it's, you know, a decent price. And there are a couple movies here that, while not at the top of my list, when they hit the right price point, PMAC is going to snatch them. And I did that with these $5 movies with digital code and InstaWatch. We have the Shaun the Sheep movie. Um, they're ki these are kind of in weird spots, both of these ones. And the other one I got is Rock Dog. Rock Dog hasn't really been out that long for this. The copyright on these for some reason is 2019. They must have like re, redid the uh, the Blu-rays maybe with a different digital code. I think possibly something like that. Um, so like maybe different packaging too, because Lionsgate kind of changed how their their codes look and things like that too. So so they kind of like put out these these kind of re-released things i guess but they're blo both blu-ray dvd combo packs which is good value and they both go on your InstaWatch account um and then you get a digital code so these are a really good value sean the sheep actually got excellent reviews rock dog i think was more middle range but these were both on my radar to get when they got cheap and um, i was just looking around they were on like a little three-sided display and i think they were at the bottom of it so they weren't like easy to find but I did. I had a little time to kill before work, and I uh, was glad to find a couple of movies to buy there for five bucks each. Uh, I'm gonna give Walmart credit for this one, even though I ended up getting this on Amazon. I think they just price matched Walmart. Um, but one I was looking for at Walmart and was not able to find. I did see the shelf spot for it at the one Walmart. But uh, I had Amazon Rewards credit, so I was able to get this with my credit. So I got it for for free. Um, it is the Legally Blonde collection starring um, Reese Witherspoon. And me and Charmaine were actually watching this last. I popped it in for a little something light before bed. I think she actually ended up finishing it, though. It was like 11.30 when I popped it in. I think she finished it. Um, so Legally Blonde from 2001. Legally Blonde 2 from 2003. Wow, I can't believe they're that old, these movies. doesn't seem like they're that old. But... Um, Kind of fun one, like a little date movie. I hear the second one's really bad. I think I've only seen the first one. Um, but it's possible I've seen the second. I think only the first, though. But uh, you get the nice slipcover, too, for 10 bucks. Shout Select. They redid the transfer for the first one, so it is it is supposed to be superior to the um, original Fox, MGM, or whatever release. But the second one, I believe, is probably the same disc. Up next, we got a couple 4Ks from Walmart. I actually mentioned these in my last video. I was gonna, I was like passing on these, and you know, and I rethought it, and I'll talk about why. But one of them I got eight dollars 4K is Mayhem. Wouldn't be surprised if these end up being cheaper. Wouldn't be surprised if these end up at Dollar Tree. Um, however, Pmax said, "I'm gonna snag those shits up." And this one has a slipcover. I did get the DVD of this from Dollar Tree. But I figured... I watched another movie like this a year and a half or whatever ago. And I, I did do a review of it. Um, you know, the one where they're at the office and they get locked down and they're freaking out on each other. I, I forget the name of the movie, but it was really good. So I figured... I want this on better quality than, than DVD because it looks like it's going to be an entertaining one. And I watched it last weekend, and I am glad I got this one. Um, you know, Blu-ray probably would have been fine, but um, I got the 4K here. And, uh, you know, if I could have got the Blu-ray for 4 bucks versus the 4K for 8 I, I would have went with the Blu-ray because this one doesn't have a digital code, and, I, and it doesn't have the HDR. I hear that it's not even that really that big of an upgrade, but I was glad to get this and really glad to watch it. This is a very entertaining movie, and it's actually like a... A viral outbreak movie so it's uh kind of entertaining to watch at this time too so you know you know that gives it an extra extra little thing but you know i like the story is simple but it's good enough it gets you involved in the you know this type of movie when they get you really pissed off at certain characters 
that's just perfect. They they do that perfectly in this movie. They get you to really hate certain characters and then you're just going to enjoy the rest of the way. So I found this to be a really kind of just sit there, relax, and enjoy. Um, definitely not one for young folks, though. But yeah, a really good movie. Really entertaining movie, in my opinion. And it's with uh, Stephen Yun from Walking Dead and Samara Weaving from... Um, from uh, What the heck was that movie? She, she, that recent movie that was fairly popular, I think. I saw a lot of people buying it anyway. It was a good movie, too, but I forget the name of it. Um, don't judge me. You don't have a perfect memory, either. Up next, we have Puppet Master. This one did not have a slippy dippy, but um, I read enough things where I was like, for eight bucks for the 4K, I might have, I might, you know, I might have snagged that up. And uh, both of these also give Instawatch on your Voodoo account, which is another, you know, cool thing. But uh, I read kind of mixed things on this. Some people said it was like the best Puppet Master movie. I don't know if it's going to be up my alley necessarily, but I decided to get it. It's a, a fairly recent release, and for eight bucks on 4K, PMAC has an addiction. You, you, just, you just go for it when you have an addiction. Um... So I got another Kino order. This was my last Kino order of the sale. It was a fun sale. Um, so four orders, countless dollars spent. I wish I didn't put so much creamer in that coffee. Um, but I just kept, I, I would kind of observe what people were posting and find different things to get. A couple things were like, towards the top of my list and then I wanted to get free shipping so I, I did some research and got some others. The ones, the one at the top of my list and I don't know why I didn't see this before because I was looking for Burt Lancaster movies specifically. I want even decent movies that I'm interested in with Burt Lancaster. There was like a submarine movie. I didn't want military and submarine movies. Just not really that interested in those. But I missed this one. I don't know how because I think I almost got this in the last Kino sale before I became Burt Lancaster's number one fan. No, not really. I, I've only watched a few movies, like maybe one movie with Burt Lancaster. But I really liked it and I really liked Burt Lancaster. So I got Tough Guys. I think this one was only like eight fifty, and it also has Kirk Douglas in it. I have no idea how I missed this one. You know, I, I looked through all the movies. And I, I had looked through them several times. I already had three orders, and I looked through them, ev like, you know, every one, and I don't know how I freaking miss this thing. It also has Dana Carvey in it, probably a small role, but it says that he's in it. Um, so this looks like kind of a light one with, with Burt Lancaster and Kirk Douglas. I just heard something. What was that? I think it was just that water distilling this one is one that i saw somebody else got and i looked into the movie and i was like it sounds like it might you know it got good reviews it sounds like it might be pretty good so i'm gonna i, I want to get that one i'm adding that to my list it is roberto benini in the monster this is one i had never heard of it's like a comedy and it actually sounds like it's pretty good like this girl thinks that roberto benini's character is a murderer and then he gets into all these different uh, situations, like funny situations where it looks like he's going to, I don't know, it looks like he's going to kill somebody. Because, I mean, according to the pictures and what I read about it a little bit, like he gets into just like awkward situations and stuff. And apparently it's pretty hilarious. This is from 94 and it's 118 minutes. Wow, that's pretty long for this type of movie. The Monster. So I was looking to see if there was enough, you know, I'm not going to order anything if I can't get the free shipping. And uh, there was one that was on my my list other times, and it, it just ended up being a last cut. But I decided, I do like the Amicus movies, I do like Giallo, and I think this is somewhat a little bit of both. It is uh, The Psychopath, and it was, a, it was a good price too, it was only 7 or 8 bucks. Um, brand new 4K restoration. I heard that like at the beginning there's some messed up stuff with the restoration, but I decided it's got enough of like the, it's like a kind of a UK giallo I heard, and I'm like, I, it sounds pretty mediocre, but I just can't pass up on a, a UK giallo. I do like giallos, 
So I went ahead and snagged it up. And then another one that uh, I was kind of like, I've been on the fence about. I almost bought the UK version before. And the, the Kino version has just been too expensive. But it dropped down to $9.99. And I was still like, and I, it doesn't really sound like it's up my alley. But then, I, again, I heard that it had, like, giallo elements to it. And it's pretty, like, highly, highly um, talked about and stuff. So I went ahead and snagged up Nightmare Beach. I've heard that it's a mix of giallo and slasher. I'm not a huge fan of giallo, but I, I do like slashers. And there was a Warner Archive movie that I watched, like, not too long ago, a few months ago. And um, it was like a U.S. one, and I felt like it kind of combined those elements, and I really enjoyed it. Um, if I enjoy this one even close to that much, that would be great. But this is like a new 4K master and stuff, too, so this has got some some nice value to it. Um, another one that was that I decided to get um, looks like an entertaining one and again I just read a lot of good things about it. Um, I don't I don't get too many of these kind of like classic type of movies but this one sounded like it would be pretty entertaining. It is The Mark of Zorro. This is from 1940, 94 minutes. Um, Basil Rathbone's in it who I know from uh, Sherlock Holmes so that's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, I, I just read a lot of really good stuff about it. And I do like to have, like, variety in my collection. So I went ahead and snagged that. And then this one. This one was the the one that was right at the end. It was like, should I, am I going to get this or do I need to look for something else? I looked into other options. And I just thought that this was the best option out of um, what I was looking at. This is called Sudden Terror here from 1970. It is 91 minutes. Um, brand new 4K master. Again, I read mixed things about it, but there was enough that I decided, you know, I wanted to go ahead and get it. This is another British movie, like a British kind of thriller type of thing. And um, I guess, it's, you know, the little boy sees a murder and they're, they they uh, don't know if they're believing him or not and stuff like that. So, you know, I thought it sounded pretty decent, and I went ahead and snagged it up. I think it will be an entertaining one. And then we have a Amazon UK stack here. I just keep snagging from them. If you don't have a region-free player, uh, you know, I think you're missing out. Basically, I think you're missing out, and we're going to go over several reasons why in this order. I have two region-free players. If one of them broke down, I, I, I would snag another one. I, I want to have one for where I watch movies upstairs and downstairs, so I don't have to be like, oh, uh, you know, during the day when I want to watch a movie downstairs, oh, I can't watch that because I don't have my region-free player down there. So that's why I have two. Um... And I don't feel like, oh, I'm going to disconnect this. That's too much work. PMAX is going to get another player. Um, I ordered this first one from early February, and, I, and the order came in three packages. They shipped this one individually for some reason. I didn't think I was going to get it because it was weeks ago that I got the email that it shipped out. And uh, I finally saw it in my tracking. I actually almost ordered it again. Um... They had actually already refunded me for it because it had been so long, like the package had been lost. And I, I was, I had it in my cart to order it again and I checked my, my United States Postal Service tracking and I saw, it's in there. I, I couldn't believe it. So then I didn't have to order it. Um, but it is Swamp Thing here from 88 Films. Now when I bought this, it was like shown the limited edition one with the slip cover and it was still advertised as having that. Unfortunately, it doesn't. But uh, this is apparently a better version than the Scream Factory version, which may actually be out of print. And if that's out of print, maybe they're going to be releasing like a, another one in the U.S. But um, this one was, it probably ended up being a little bit over 10 bucks. And uh, directed by Wes Craven. The TV show, the Swamp Thing TV show is actually quite good. I enjoyed that one. It was only 10 episodes. Um, really interesting why they stopped making the TV show like they did made the decision to 
to end it pretty quick. Oh, it's financial stuff. I, I don't believe... I don't necessarily believe the reasons they just put out there for things, you know. I think that there's there's other reasons for things a lot of times. But um, I believe this... I'm not sure if this has a different transfer than the Scream Factory one, but I believe the Scream Factory one does not have the full uncut and uncensored Euro European cut. I don't think the, the Scream Factory has that one. Um, and this is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. There it is. So I was glad to get this. This was, uh, this was put out in 2018, it looks like, this, um, this set. The movie is from 1981. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna watch today. That's a possibility. Another good reason to get a uh, region free player if you care for this type of movie. Um, I got American Ninja, the one through four set. This was like 16 pounds, and then after they removed like the the vat, you know, this probably ended up being about 20 bucks. I'm thinking about 20 bucks. And if you get the Olive versions, Olive released this in the U.S. and they're I don't know if you, if you can get them on sale for fifteen bucks each. That's a, a deal. Um, I think they're usually probably around twenty. So to get the whole series for twenty bucks is a beer me. It does have some special features. Um, I'm not sure as far as the transfers versus the olive. Hopefully, I did enough research before I bought this. But uh, you know, they all have their own disc and everything. So there's four discs. And uh, eighty-eight films, good company. I did pop in the first one. I was watching part of it. It didn't have subtitles, but the Olive ones, pro you know, Olive, I don't know if they're that great either, so they probably don't have the subtitles either. I don't know for sure. Um, another one that had a U.S. release that I got, the U.K. one, is uh, Cottermass Cotter and the Pit. I had just got the Cottermass Experiment. This, I believe, is the sequel to it. Um, from 1967 is the Hammer Film Production, 97 Minutes. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. And the reason why I got this one was I, I read that there's an issue with the sides of the, the Scream Factory one. Also, the Scream, so like the transfer might be better, it sounded like. Special features, I think the Scream Factory is probably better. PMAC don't got time for special features. I got thousands of movies I haven't watched yet. I don't, you know, special features, eh. Um, but it sounded like the transfer might be a little bit, a little bit superior on this one. And the price was just better. It was like, uh, probably ended up being a little bit over 10, 10, uh, you know, 11 or 12 bucks. I think on this one, the Scream Factory one during a buy two, get one sale. I could have gotten it for probably 17 or 18 or something like that. So I'll get this over that price. Another one that has a U.S. release that I think may be out of print. Um, Scream Factory, I got the Eureka version of Troll, the complete collection. This just, this looks like a nicer set too than the Scream Factory. I mean, I think maybe Hamilton Book had, had gotten in some of the out of print Trolls and sold those possibly. Um, but this was, this was pretty reasonable too. This was, what was it? Like, uh, you know, this, this was probably, this was less than 15 bucks, I think, um, with the Slippy Dippy and a booklet. Here's the, the inside there, which I've never owned these troll movies. The first one sounds like it might be something decent of a fantasy movie. Probably not. The second one's supposed to be horrible. And then it also has a documentary called The Best Worst Movie, which is supposed to be pretty good. But yeah, we got a booklet here. Pretty nice booklet, actually. It's shiny. And then uh, the reversible artwork is just the same as the, the slipcover. Slipcover. And then two discs, two disc set, which I don't I don't know much about the Scream Factory release really, but I bet this is probably superior and um, quite affordable. But this is a Region B one, so again, you need a Region Free player. Up next, we have another one that has a U.S. Blu-ray, and I'm not sure. What Blu-ray would be better, the U.S. one or this one? But uh, I, I went ahead and got this one. It is Trancers. Um, I got the DVD of this from um, Dollar General. And it was uh, 
it was it was terrible. I mean, the movie looked interesting, but I wasn't going to watch it. So I wasn't going to watch that crap. An inventive and frequently unpredictable gem from the VHS era. But, um, yeah, I, I, I'm losing my train of thought. But I wanted this on better quality. I mean, the movie looked like it would be a fun one. So I wanted a better quality version of it. And this was quite affordable. Uh, you know, it, was, it it ends up being like nine bucks or something. So that's not bad at all for an 88 films release there. And you got like a whole bunch of special features. Special features! Um, up next, we have one that this one I would have passed on if I knew before I ordered it. You know, MVD is going to be working on an MVD Rewind collection. But, uh, oh well, this is 101 Films. Rutger Hauer in split second. Uh, probably not a very good transfer of this. It actually went cheaper a little bit too. They're doing like a a little sale on 101 Films at a store in the UK and then they're matching it on Amazon UK. So this is a little bit cheaper now, but oh well, what can you do? Cry like a little bitch. Um, I'll probably eventually get the MVD Rewind Collection one when it goes down to 10 bucks. Um, but I did watch a Rutger Hauer movie recently and I, and I wanted this one and T Mac makes mistakes sometimes. But you know what? You gotta forgive yourself and move on. After you cry like a little bitch. Um Up next, we have I, I try to get these Pam Greer movies, these black exploitation ones. And 88 Films put out a, a a nice little release here of Friday Foster, which I've never seen. So this one was uh it seemed like a pretty good deal. It was like on sale on Amazon UK and you know it ends up being about nine bucks or whatever also. This was put out in 2016. The movie's from 1975. I don't know if this got a US Blu-ray. I think it probably did. Um, I did look into it but I, I don't remember. This actually comes with a, a little booklet too. A little booklet. Oh, low battery. A little booklet. A little Pam Greer. Nice. Up next. This one, totally knew nothing about it. I saw that it was like a a pretty good price and it looked like kind of a fun, uh, I don't know, fantasy movie or I don't know, sci-fi. Looked like an interesting one. Uh, compared to Doctor Strange, it is um, Jeffrey Combs in Doctor Morbid. I really don't know much about it. This is actually a full moon features one. Uh, I read, you know, probably this isn't really that great, but the, it just sounded interesting to me, like the type of movie it is more so than probably the actual movie. So I went ahead, snag that shit up. Boom. Oh. Okay. And then I, I try to get all the Takashi Miike movies. So I looked into this one that looked like it was a little bit cheaper than usual from uh, Third Window Films, which I believe they're affiliated somehow with, with Arrow Video and whatnot because Arrow Video sells their movies on the web on their website. It is Lesson of Evil here, and I, I don't think that this had a US Blu-ray. At least I looked it up and I didn't see that it had a US Blu-ray. And this got very good reviews. Um interested in some Takashi Mike. And actually this has a booklet. Actually I might put this to use. This has a booklet with a bunch of different third window films releases which if I have any more than this one, it's not many, and I've been interested in um, like what they have. So I'm actually gonna take a look through this booklet and see if there's other stuff I need to to keep my eye on from Third Window Films. Um, this one ended up being probably ten or a little bit more than that, something like that. Um, looks like this was put out in 2014, so this has been out for a little bit. But I decided to go ahead and get it. And then this looked like a UK movie that does not have at least a Blu-ray release in the US. I don't know if maybe it has a DVD, but it, again, it sounded like it, uh, you know, it's pretty highly regarded and I like prison movies. So I snagged up Startup. It was very, it was really cheap. It was like less than five bucks, I think. Um, so I snagged that one up. It actually has the UK digital code with it also. But uh, I heard some people had like region, region B players and this wouldn't work in them, which doesn't really make sense because it's a region B Blu-ray. So I'm going to have to check and make sure that this works on my player. I might actually do that after I'm done with this video. And since this is my last one that I'm showing off in this haul, I am going to keep this out to remi remember to go test it. Um, again, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. 
for um, a little bit this morning or whenever you watch the video. I do appreciate it. Um, please thumbs up, like the video if you enjoy my videos, and take a look at the description section for ways that you can help out PMAC movies. Any way that you can help out is appreciated. Um, I do put, you know, some time and effort into making these videos with all the other stuff I got going on. So, you know, I, I do enjoy it, but uh, there's also, you know, if you could help out any way you could possible, that would be great, which it, it just, you know, liking the video and commenting helps out the channel, and I appreciate I appreciate the feedback, and I get back to people, and, um, you know, email me, reach out if you want to. I do appreciate all those things. Thanks again. I don't think I have anything else to say, except we'll see you next time on PMAC Movies.